I tell you what, I'm not wearing makeup right now, and I look through those filters because some of these girls, you know, like uh, when they're not wearing makeup, they put on those filters and they look fabulous. I went through and I looked like a daggone Disney villain. I mean, I looked like I was going to try to steal some puppies or, uh, you know, maybe steal your voice or something. I mean, I just, uh, I don't know what it was about me. It just did not work. And maybe one of these days, uh, one of you chicks out there can uh, help me. Uh, but uh, I, I decided to forego that and just go all natural. I don't think I, I'm that daggone scary anyway. Well, anyway, I want to tell another story because I just love telling stories. And uh, this one I call, uh, I think we're alone now. And, uh, <clears throat> anyway, so I worked in the media industry for, uh, for nearly 17 years of my life. And, uh, I, I, um, I, I wrote articles, I traveled, I also, uh, I, I did advertising for a number of years and I traveled the state doing advertising and I was, I was pretty successful. I won, um, a good bit of uh, West Virginia uh, Press Association awards uh, during my uh, career before I, I switched. I work in education now. So anyway, I traveled the state and I always had a great time. So one day I was traveling and I was in um, the, uh, the the Fedville Oak Hill area, which was uh, kind of like my home base. I'm from Fed County originally. Um, I actually moved back to Fed County uh, two years ago. Uh, well, has it been two years? Yep. Somewhere like that. Uh, after living in Pittsburgh and in Charleston. In Morgantown. I lived in Morgantown for a few years, too. So, anyway, I'm back in Fayette County now. But, at that time, I was not. So, it was cool to be back, you know, like, you know, in Fayette County visiting. Uh, so, uh, you know, those are my peoples, I thought. You know, I, I, I tried, you know, our secret language. And uh, so I was going around and I was, uh, you know, trying to put together some tourism pages and so forth for the other uh, newspaper. So uh, I went to this one place and there was this girl there and she, I just thought that we hit it off. You know, I just thought, you know, like on Step Brothers where they're like, did we just become best friends? I thought that that's what was going on between me and her. I mean, you know, uh, apparently it was just me. But, you know, I thought we had that moment, like, where we was just clicking, and we were bonding, and we were one. You know, that was going to be my soul sister. Which my ex always told me that I always thought that people, anybody I met was my best friend. Sometimes he was right. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway, you know, she even gave me a free milkshake. So, you know, we're, we're, we're sitting there, we're bonding like sisters. And they had a jerk jukebox. And what comes on it's Tiffany I think we're alone now and that was like my jam when I was a little girl you know it was kind of like you know sometimes I wanted to be Tiffany sometimes I wanted to be Deb Gibson you know and then like you know like there was that epic battle uh but you know so I hear that song I'm out there you know I start singing and you know like I think we're alone now doesn't seem to be anyone around. You know, I'm doing the hand dance. I'm flashing back like it's 1987 here. And I am, you know, seven years old or however old. Eight. Eight. Eight years old out there doing my dance and stuff. And I'm like, come on. Come on. You know, like urging her out there so we can dance together and continue our bonding experience. And she's just like looking at me like a deer in the headlights. I mean, she's not budging, and I'm like, come on, you know, this is a jam, sisters, woo, and that's when she's like, I wasn't even born yet, and I was like, come again, <laughs> and that's when she tells me she was only 21 years old, and uh, <clears throat> so um, the music stopped, at least the music in my head, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I, I sat back down because I felt like I just made a complete fool out of myself, you know. And um, anyway, I, after that, it was pretty awkward because, you know, basically I thought this 21-year-old girl was my age, <laughs> which was, you know, almost double. Not quite. I ain't that old. But, you know, I, I was mistaking her for somebody in their late 30s at least. Um, so I did not make that advertising sale 
no, mm -mm, no. Uh, actually, uh, that girl never wanted to speak to me again. So, um, <clears throat> after that, I decided maybe, maybe it's time for me to bow out and uh, just uh, go a different way. But uh, whenever I hear Tiffany's, I think we're alone now, I remember that day. And uh, I kind of relive that uh, embarrassing moment.